everyone this is jay mukherjee good evening everyone of you ladies and gentlemen a warm welcome to one and all to intrazon 2.0 india's largest retail traders online conference this is ashok devanam priya i am the ceo of traders gurukul and scatterzon an algo trading company it's a great privilege and honor to see thousands of people joining us every day in pursuit of the knowledge because the speciality of this program is the theme which is intra intraday that's why we call it intrazon because 100% intraday models and strategies would be discussed in this special event my sincere thanks to colleagues management and leadership of money control pro for joining us as a media partner and believing in our ability to deliver mass conferences to a wider group of audience traders and investors let us also thank and appreciate our title partner Astro, one of the leading discount brokers in india which is from the family of shirkhan who have an experience of close to 25 years in the equity markets the speaker for today is mr joy mukherjee from kolkata he is the founder of otp academy a technical analyst directional fundo trader having more than 10 years of experience in the equity markets today he is going to help you us help all of us in learning the ways of picking momentum stocks in intraday trading joy it is a great joy to have you in intrazon 2.0 on behalf of traders gurukul money control pro and espresso families i extend my warm welcome to you in this program go ahead my friend the stage is yours please inspire our audience with your valuable knowledge thank you and over to you thank you asuk and hello everyone this is joy mukherjee today we will learn about momentum about picking momentum stocks for intraday especially and we will learn how to create strategies so let's start so just uh, like uh, any other strategies there also we will have few rules few regulations and all but before it i would like to talk about few basic of few basics of uh, trading trading principles if i don't talk about them then all these strategies all these systems will fail so the first thing that i would like to talk that is the risk reward ratio and position sizing these are very common i hope you have you are practicing them but still um, there are facers as well who are not practicing good risk reward ratio and good uh, calculation of uh, position sizing so here let me let me tell you about the basic of it it is very simple very easy to calculate first thing the risk reward ratio it means if we are buying anything at 9 with a risk of 1 rupee so the stop loss is at 8 so my risk is only 1 rupee right or 1 point then how much profit we should expect so that could be 1 is to 1 1 is to 2 1 is to 3 and the higher is the better right but what i say in positional trading it should be 1 is to 2 it means my target should be 11 but in intraday trading in intraday trading it may not be possible to continue with 1 is to 2 risk reward ratio so i will be ready to take around 1 is to 1.5 it means if i am taking risk of 10 points my reward should be at least 15 points in intraday trading okay it should be the ideal condition 
now uh, if it is 1 is to 2 if it is 1 is to 2.5 if it is 1 is to 3 then it is very good the more is better so risk is the stop loss and the entry the difference between the stop loss and the entry reward is the entry and the target right so that risk reward ratio should be very very important in trading in intraday trading as well and for position obviously thereafter the position sizing so guys what we need to do we need to fix our risk for example if i want to take risk of 1000 rupees if we want to take risk of 1000 rupees on that particular trade then how many stocks or how many quantity i shall buy i'm taking risk of one point for 1000 rupee so the quantity should be 1000 divided by 1 so it is 1000 so if for example my risk point is 4 then it should be divided by 4 so the quantity should be 250 so in this way very easily we can calculate our fixed risk quantity our risk will be fixed but quantity will be different in each and every trade right so please try to follow these two basic things these are very basic and i hope you are aware of it you are following this but still without talking about these two basic principles talking about other strategies systems uh, is not a good idea so i hope it is clear my risk reward ratio should be 1 is to 5 or higher for intraday and my quantity how to calculate the quantity as per my risk if you want to take the risk of 10000 rupees then it will be just same 10000 divided by 4 so 2500 quantity i will buy right now if you uh, if you ask me that uh, how to calculate the defendo or the option side for example you are buying bank nifty option at 100 rupees right your stop loss at 80 and your target for example it is 120 or 130 okay so you are taking risk of 20 points and you want to take risk of 10000 rupees for that particular trade okay so how many lots you sell by so just 10000 divided by that risk 20 points into lot size got it if it is nifty then it will be 50 if it is any stock any stock option stock future just it should be the lot size and the value should be your quantity okay so i hope it is very simple very easy and it is very easy to follow as well so please follow the proper quantity now why i'm saying please follow the proper quantity again and again because we lose in the stock market due to our emotions and when we involve our emotions that time when we take bigger risk today many of us many of the traders were in panic they were uh, they had a bad day but what if you had fixed your risk then then your loss was already fixed few days ago when you were taking the trade or that time when you were taking your trade today okay so take your trades with proper position sizing and book your profit with proper risk reward ratio
one is to two risk load ratio is very good just go with it if it is not available if the market is not in uh, in that uh, type then you can go with one is to five as well one is to 1.5 okay so this is the basic thing so let's start today's topic we will use hack and AC for our for our strategy now uh, we have to know how to get the success in trading so we will use hack and AC charts we will use one leading indicator and before that we will calculate our risk reward ratio and position sizing right but what is the success success in trading that is your reward and the probability that should be more than one the reward into the probability for example uh if you are taking just for example if you are taking one is to two risk reward ratio okay and the probability of profit is 50 percent do you think you will make profit answer is yes obviously because out of 100 trades out of 100 trades my probability of profit is 50 percent means my 50 trades will go for profit and 50 trades will go for loss right i will lose one rupee each in all those loss making trades and i will make two rupees each in my profit making trades right so at the end of the day you are making 100 points here but here you are losing 50 points so ultimately you are making net profit so that is what we are saying here if we want to get success then your reward into the probability should be more than one if it is less than one then it is not possible logically and practically as well now understanding the trend of the stocks as we are here to learn the momentum in stocks so identifying the trend is very important so we have already learned about uh, Dow theory, the basic trends, higher top, higher bottom, lower top, lower bottoms, right? Uptrend, downtrend, choppy trend, counter trends. But here, what we will learn about the trend is little different. That is the real market trend through the hack and AC chart. Now, what is the Hekanes chart? Hekanes is called the best trend riding system. It is called the best trend riding system because Hekanes can keep you in the trade till the end of it. Hekanes looks very, very similar to the candlesticks. I will show you, but just before that let me tell you it is little modified not exactly like candlesticks but it is modified candlesticks or we can say it is better candlesticks why because the open price of hagen is modified by default the open price of the hagen candle is the average price of previous Hekanesi candle. Average price of the body of previous Hekanesi candle means open 
plus close divided by 2 okay open plus close divided by 2 of previous candle it means if you have a candle here uh, here can I see candle here. So by default, the average means the middle of the previous candle is the opening price of the next candle. By default, the next candle will open here, irrespective of the real opening. So it is little modified, but it is very helpful because the candlestick charts are not connected with each other. But here can I see they are each and every can candles of Hekanesi chart is connected with its previous candle and the next candle. So open will be here by default. So high, high is the highest for the maximum value of uh, open, close and high. Low will be the minimum value of open, close and low. But the close price, the closing, is again modified. The closing is open, high, low, close divided by four of current candle. So the earlier it was, previous candle body average, that was the opening, and the closing is current candle average price not the body average only open high low close divided by four so it is for our knowledge but in practically you don't need to calculate this because it is already calculated by the system but we need to know the open price and the closing price of hekanesi candle is not the real opening and real closing okay High and low by default, it is the minimum and uh, maximum value. Uh, that is the same. So, why we are trying to learn the trend with the help of Hegenesi? Because in candlestick charts, decision making is a bit uh, complicated. As the individual candle has no relation with previous and the next candle. But in Hekanesi, it has. It is connected with the previous and the next candle. And that is how it shows the underlying trend in the chart. So let me show you the Hekanesi chart. Just look at here. This is the Hekanesi chart. If I show you the nifty chart, look at the nifty chart. The 15 minutes nifty chart. In Hekanesi candle, can you see that? In Hekanesi candle, we have the connection with the previous and the next candle. So by default, the opening of each and every candle is at the middle of the previous candle body by default. Can you see that each and every candle is having the same opening at previous candle body average or the middle of the previous candle body? Can you see that each and every one, each and every one? So very clearly it shows you the trend whether it is strong, it is up or it is down. If it is up, only green. If it is down, only red. So you will not get confused. Now we need to know what type of candles we will see. We will see only four types of candles, only three types of candles. The first type of candle is a buy candle that looks like this. Okay. Or a buy candle looks like this.
and a cell candle cell candle that looks like exactly like this so what we can